What is a frog's favorite song by Tiny Tim? Tip toed through the tulips. Welcome to the stream, my friends. <laughs> Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you are, uh, I hope you are well. And a, a stray mustache hair. Happy, uh, happy, happy Tuesday, everybody. It's our first Battle, Battle Toads Tuesday. Our first, our first Totally Tuesday event. <laughs> Since, uh, we had some problems earlier this week, we're just gonna do it tonight. We're gonna play two Battle Toads games. The NES Battle Toads we're gonna play first. Uh, this is a D-Rust. I am uh, fairly familiar with this game. But I also haven't played it in a very long time, so this may go poorly, especially the Klinger Winger. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna see about uh, refamiliarizing with this game, and then in the second part of the stream, we're gonna try out the Genesis Battle Toads for the first time ever. But uh, let's welcome everyone in pro properly. Dead Zergling is first in chat tonight, followed closely by Stream Kyle. We've also got Mile Hyrule and Lucent Jelly, Kusari Gama, and EpiPen. Welcome in all. <laughs> Hope you are well. Um, I believe Mile Hyrule Zergling was referring to the uh, the first in chat, <laughs> the first in chat trophy. Uh Amphibious Frogs time. Spoiler alert, it's Thursday. Not tonight it isn't. Tonight it's Tuesday. According to Master Tuesday, every day is Tuesday after all. We'll, uh, we'll see if we're lucky enough to, to, to have the, uh, I was trying to come up with a nickname for Master Tuesday, but I couldn't think of, like, a synonym for Master that starts with a T. <laughs> the, t we'll, we'll see if we're lucky enough to have the Tyrant of Tuesdays join us tonight. That's the that's the best I've got. Uh, I should use my joke from Tuesday's Ergling says of what what is a toad's favorite way to have a meal? I did not uh I did not guess. I tried I I I remember reading that. I I I couldn't think of a I couldn't think of a good guess for uh, what the answer might be. <laughs> I was a little concerned. I was a little concerned that the answer is going to somehow combine the word frog with the word fork, and I was thinking if I try to blend those two words into one, it might come out sounding like something I'd prefer not to say on the stream. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> That's pretty good, Zerg. Like, that's pretty good. I resubscribed thirty five months. But still had to sit through two ads. Well, thank you for the resub, Jelly. I don't know what is going on. I don't. Someone told someone told me just a night or two ago 
that they were getting ads on a stream that they were subbed to. Something is uh, something is not right. Stack Cat, welcome in. Very uh, very happy to have you with us. Toad's Day already. Yeah, it's it's Toadly Tuesday. We've started a new um. We've started a new um, a new uh, what do we call it? A new project on the stream. We're gonna play Battle Toads every Tuesday. <laughs> And we were supposed to we were supposed to start that this week, and then my internet went out on Tuesday. So tonight is honorary Tuesday. <laughs> you know the stream. Nothing goes as planned here. Everything is janky. <laughs> uh, every day is it's every day is Tuesday. In honor of your rage quit last night, I also fell back to the beginning of Jump King. Uh, I, I, I appreciate the, uh, I, I appreciate the solidarity EpiPen. Um, you have to be very careful with frog jokes. Last person I told one to croaked. Kusari Gama says, very well done. Have you beaten Jump King yet? I have. I've beaten it twice. Um, we are on DLC two, so I'm I'm on I'm 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 still I'm still playing a path of Jump King. I have not beaten yet um, the third quest, but I've beaten the main game and I beat DLC one. Actually, in the other order, <laughs> I beat I beat DLC one first, and then the next night I beat the main game. It took me 93 hours, 93 hours for the first, for the first, for the first credit screen. <laughs> but then it took me the, 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 it took me 93 hours to, to reach the credits playing the DLC before the main game. But then the next night I, I beat the main game in five hours. So I improved dramatically. <laughs> And now we're like 40 hours into DLC 2 now. Uh, I have so many frog puns. Been in a lot of Battletoad streams. Alright, I'm going to start pressing some buttons. That's value. <laughs> When you've told one, you've towed them all. Maybe Jelly can make a frowny jump king. We've talked to, we've talked about that um, before, um, actually, what that might look like. But uh, it's yet to, uh, we've yet to have one materialize. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, we might get one. Jelly doesn't, Jelly doesn't always have quite the, the time for the stream that I do. You know, it's largely because of, uh, well, it's basically entirely because of Jelly's efforts that I have time for the stream. <laughs> Hey, I thought, all right, now he's gone. No, oh, rip. Stage one death, that's really unacceptable. Oh no, I'm gonna have a second one. No, I have a two, two stage one deaths. Super unacceptable. Let me just leap off of here. We'll restart. Let's let that run down. Oh no! 
I think that's the first time I've missed it, Jelly. 35 months. That's almost a year. I think that's the uh, I think that's the first time I've missed that. You had me uh you had me distracted by my outrage at the uh the ads rolling. Got to beat Jump King first. Well, if we beat Jump King, then there's no reason for the artwork. <laughs> the artwork is supposed to accompany the playthrough. <laughs> The prophecy is true, you croaked. No, no, you can get more than five lives. They just don't show up on the screen. It only shows five, but you can definitely get more. 35 months, so close to a year, Mile Higher Earl says. I think my mic is too close to me. <laughs> or I'm talking extra loud tonight for some reason. It's the battle toads. It's got me uh, animated. We won't be doing a lot of voluntary resets, but I really, I really should make it through stage one without losing a life. We'll likely be resetting a lot, like uh, the... The uh, the odds that I pass neatly through this game tonight are very slim. As you can see, I can't even stop losing lives here. I'm not sure if I've played this game since I was eight, EpiPen says. I'm a latecomer to Battletoads. I only played it for the first time last year. I think I might... Might, I might have tried it once as a kid at a friend's house or at my cousin's house. I don't remember though. I don't actually remember if I if I tried it or if I had just seen someone else play a little bit of it. Are the health squares, up at the top, the health squares, those blue squares, are those always blue in this game? I don't remember those being blue. Do I have a weird, do I have a... I just cannot. <laughs> that guy is ruining me. We're never going to get out of stage one. <clears throat> this is impossible. Battletoads and Turtles in Time were... My beat em ups from my childhood. I definitely played some Turtles in Time.
I didn't own it. I didn't own that game, but my cousin did. We played that one a lot. Never beat it. I could never, uh, we could never beat that one when we were young. I've, uh, I've beaten it since, but I've never beaten it without turning up my lives in the, uh, options. So I need to, I need to correct that situation someday. Hey, May, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. I hope work goes well for you. Turtles arcade ports were masterpieces, EpiPen says. I'm not really I'm not really much of a fan of beat 'em ups in general. Um But the turtles ones, the turtles ones are pretty all right. Battletoads, of course, is great, but Battletoads is barely a beat 'em up. It's only got it's only got like two beat 'em up levels. They're you know two and a half. Most of uh. Most of the game is like platforming. Fairly uh. Really difficult platforming at that. There we go. There's a there's how to not get knocked off that edge every single time. That took forever to figure out. I found the perfect game for you, apparently. It's a Flash game. Well, if it's a game I have to play on the computer, then it's definitely not the perfect game for me. I don't play... I don't play anything on the computer. The world's hardest game. It's about as jank as I've ever seen. Well, I can't say I'm not intrigued. I became much more into fighting games when I got older, Kasari Gama says. Yeah, fighting games have never really grabbed me. Game and fit. Long time no see. Oh, so close to so close to the extra life. I'm really bad at I'm really bad at juggling those birds. No. Thought he was going to cut my line. No! Ah. We were close. No game, it's just fit now. Certainly hoping for that to not remain the case. Oh, I 
missed. I disagree. I disagree. I got that bird. I will I will not let the game tell me otherwise. What was that? I wasn't I wasn't facing anywhere near that fly. There we go. Hey, we got another one up. How's Battletoads treating you? Well, it was a rough start. I kept I kept dying on stage one. And I didn't want to start a run. I didn't want to start a run a life down right out of the gate. So I had to restart several times before we could uh, get moving. And I'm, I'm definitely rusty. I'm definitely rusty. But that's all right. It's it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to re-experience what it's like to learn the game. One hit away from a one up again. It's not all bad on the bright side. I can focus on more important things for the time being. My attention span has gone up astronomically. It probably takes just a week or two to get rusty with this one. Yeah. So when I the very the very first time I beat it, I uh, I I replayed it a whole lot to try and to try and lock in. To try and lock it into my memory and it worked for a little while at least and i mean i i like i know the whole game but i don't i don't necessarily hang on to the feel of the whole game for very long like i still have an intellectual understanding of what the whole game is like. You have to be careful because that big boot attack there, like that, that includes a little bit of a jump and that can actually make you go off the ledge to your death. So then the, the weekend, I beat this game for the first time on a Friday. The night that I beat it, right after our first, right after the first win, I immediately replayed the game a second time the same night, and my second playthrough was a one credit clear. So that was really cool. But then that weekend, off stream, I played through the game like six times over the course of the weekend. <laughs> And I don't usually I don't usually play very much off stream at all, but with this game I, I played it I played it five or six times 
over that weekend to get it really to get it really locked in. Let's go, Turbo Tunnel, first try. Oh. oh my goodness. That was scary. That was really scary. Hey, thank you for the trophy, uh, Game and Fit. Oh, I don't remember how these guys work. I think you have to use the snowballs there. I think you can run up. I think you can run up to those snowmen and clobber them. But I don't remember the. I don't remember the timing for it. I remember that guy though. And I think there's a fly up here. Yeah, but watch out for the snowball. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I was stuck on the, uh, the, the Klinger Winger. I was stuck on that for a whole month. My first, it, my first playthrough of Battletoads, it took me 95 hours to beat this game for the first time, and that was almost exclusively because of the Klinger Winger. <laughs> I'm going to stay away from games until my birthday, July 12th. At the very least, it'll give me some time to rest. When I come back, they should be more enjoyable, Game and Fit says. I knew you're taking a, uh, I knew you're taking a, an extended break. I didn't, uh, I didn't remember a mention of your birthday being the target date. I can just hang out here and let this thing take care of itself. Reminds me of the Genesis Aladdin with the lava and the carpet. I was uh, I was thinking about the Genesis Aladdin earlier today. Uh, I was thinking about how much I don't like it. I much prefer the SNES one. Me too. I love the SNES Aladdin. I love that game. But I don't really like the Genesis game. I tried. I tried to like the Genesis game. 
but I just don't. <laughs> I tried to be real nice to it when I played it on the stream, and I tried to like it, but... I've had plenty of time to reflect, and... I just... I just don't. <laughs> oh no! Throw it from here? Yeah. Okay, you guys hang out a moment. I think the Genesis Aladdin, Aladdin is okay until the final battle, then it just becomes a dumpster fire. Yeah, I don't like the final boss. I don't like I don't like the layouts of most of the stages. They're very they're very rambling and con confusing. Um like the prison stage is real it's 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 there it's just real obtuse the layout um, but a lot of the levels are like that i don't i don't like the inside the magic lamp level i don't like the level of the boulders i don't like the flying carpet level i just it's just a it's just, the list just goes on and on with that one Definitely don't like the Abu stages. There are stages where you play as Abu? I didn't even remember that. It's really hard for me to find games to like on the Genesis. There are plenty of decent games on it, Kasari Gama says. Oh, I mean, I, there are Genesis games that I really like. Like, I like Contra Hardcore on the Genesis. I mean, I don't love... I don't love it like I love the NES Contras, but I much prefer... Like, I... I, I like, the like Contra Hardcore is way better than Contra 3. <laughs> and I like Castlevania Bloodlines more than Castlevania 4. Though, that one is a... I seem to be pretty alone there. <laughs> I love, uh, I love Castlevania Bloodlines, though. That game is fantastic. Rocket Knight Adventures. Alien 3 on the Genesis is really great. Though I, though I do have to say, I, I did hate Alien 3 the first time I played it. I kind of hated it. That's putting it a little strong. I, but I definitely didn't like it when I first played it. But I didn't get it. It took me a while, to, it took me a while before I got that game. He gets a sword and has to avoid pots or something like that, Demon Fit says. Hmm. I just don't, I just can't really picture him in my head. Road Rash, Bloodline, Sonic, maybe, Demon Fit says. watching Cat the Castlevania show on Netflix. So far I can say it's good up until the end of season two. I'm on season four now. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I saw I saw the uh the angry video game nerd did a Castlevania video. I, I didn't watch it though, because I'm worried for spoilers for the ones I haven't played, so 
I skip I skip a lot of his stuff just out of fear of spoilers. No, what happened? He broke my cheese. Oh no, I'm dead. Wow. Don't let it happen again. There we go. No, what? He's quicker on the draw than I am. Definitely rusty with that. My favorite consoles are the GameCube and the SNES, Kasari Gama says. Yeah, I would probably have to say, I would probably have to say NES is my favorite console. Um, second favorite console? That'd be hard to say. Probably the Super NES. I do really like the Nintendo 64, though. It'd be hard to pick. It'd be hard to pick between the, uh, A Super NES and the in the N64, and this is all considering my my very favorite video game is a is a Super Nintendo game. So like, I would never be able to play. I would never be able to play my my favorite game again if I like, you know, did the whole one console thing. Didn't watch past season one, but very much liked it, EpiPen says. I didn't watch any of the Castlevania show. A lot of people tell me it's pretty good. I don't remember the... Uh, don't remember this the pattern for the snakes Genesis just has decent games not a lot that again I like shining in the darkness is amazing and so is golden axe pretty much I like um I really like Altered Beast on the Genesis, but it's not a very good game. Uh, Dreamcast has a handful of great games. Shinmu, Power Stone. Yeah, I don't know Shining in the Darkness or Power Stone. I've heard of Shining in the Darkness. Power Stone, I don't know that I've even heard of. And Shinmu, I've heard a little bit about. It's hard to say what my all-time favorite video game is, Kasari Gama says. Uh, my favorite would probably always be Ocarina of Time, even if it's cliche, Game and Fit says. No, no worries. You probably wouldn't like it because I think it follows Symphony of the Night vibes, EpiPen says. Yeah, I don't tend to watch... I'm not usually I'm not usually super concerned like with watching like video games being adapted into other media. That's not something that I'm tremendously interested in. Yeah, you know, I watch stuff like that. You know, like I watched the the animated Mario movie when that came out. But I don't know. A lot of these like TV shows and movies and stuff based on games. A lot of them are games I've never played. But I don't know. Just, I'm just not in a hurry for, for any of them. Uh, 
I'm not super I'm not super interested in a video game being adapted into a movie or a TV show particularly because all you've, all you've done is all you've done is taking you know all you've done is taken a video game and removed all the gameplay like that's the worst thing you could do to me I hate I hate when video games have too many cutscenes already why in the world? Why in the world would I want a video game that's that's nothing but the cutscenes? It's like I tell you that I hate pizza with anchovies on it, and then you order an anchovy pizza and tell me, Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I picked off the pizza, and you hand me just a bowl of anchovies. <laughs> but this is... <laughs> why, 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 why have you done this? <sighs> that's, what a, that's, what a, that's what a video game movie adaptation it, it typically is to me. <laughs> There are some exceptions. Yeah, the uh, Super Mario Brothers '93 is a, is is the finest work of human art. <laughs> so there are there are definitely some exceptions, but. Last jump is scary. Hey, Master Tuesday. <laughs> I thought you'd approve of that title. Happy Tuesday to you, my friend. Uh-oh. Okay, am I going to be able to just hang out for a moment and read the chat? Let's do that. Hey, Derek Ocean. Welcome in, if I didn't say so. Great to have you here. Streets of Rage 3 is really short but sweet. I've heard that game is brutal. I've actually seen a bit of that game. It looks brutal. I suppose if I had to choose a favorite game, it would be XCOM 2, Kasarigama says. Hmm. I don't, uh, I've actually, I heard that, I think XCOM Enemy Unknown, I've heard is supposed to be really good. I've never played any of the games, though. Really looking forward to beating Link to the Past one day. I love, uh, Link to the Past. It's an easy game to love, though, right? Actually, it's made a good show. It's legit. Unlike most video game adaptations. Castlevania's great, Derek says. <laughs> the green snake just comes flying out there, doesn't he? It's pretty, pretty, moves at a pretty breakneck pace. Really like the Fallout show, never played, but all my friends that did approved and enjoyed. EpiPen says. Derek agrees. Can't do video game shows and etc. when they always butcher the source material. Uh, Kasari Gama says. They full on butchered Cowboy Bebop. Five out of five on Fallout, Game and Fit says. Mm. 
I heard you say that. oh about the Mario movie. Gaming historian did a thing did a thing on that. Probably not. I've probably I've actually probably seen it, but it's I've probably actually seen that. But I it's uh undoubtedly been a while. I do in fact approve of the title, Tuesday says. I hereby grant you authority to declare today Tuesday. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Tuesday. Uh There's more good TV about games than games about TV and movies? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> there there are, I mean, like, if you're just talking percentage-wise, there, then, well, I don't even know then. There's some pretty good, there are some pretty good, you know, movie to movie to game adaptations. Like I just mentioned Alien 3. <laughs> Alien 3, the game, is way better than Alien 3, the movie. And I don't, uh, and I don't hate Alien 3, but, like, I don't hate the movie, but the game is way better. <laughs> Yeah, not that you need permission on your own stream. No, I, I get you Tuesday. <laughs> I referred to you earlier Tuesday because naturally you came up as a point of conversation with that that title being what it is, and I was uh, I was trying to I was trying to think of a good nickname for you, and I referred to you as the Tyrant of Tuesdays, and uh, for a moment there you almost lived up to that title. <laughs> Doling out permission. <laughs> According to your whims. I couldn't think... I couldn't think of a synonym... I couldn't think of a synonym for master that started with a... That started with a T. I wanted to, to give you an alliterative title. Uh. Waiting for things like a live action Metal Gear Solid movie to make the to make the Kojima fans mad. <laughs> This is good. This is gonna be rough. Re relearning this is gonna this is gonna cost a few lives. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe! I cannot believe it! Let me get away with that. That one up was lower than I remembered it being, but we still got it, and then I died. I think it respawns, though. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Now I'm losing lives. 
first two. The first two are okay, because if I die after I get the one up, then we don't really lose anything, but that that was a real loss. You can cheese this part. If you just hang out, if you just hang out at the very bottom, the missiles can't actually hit you. The ones on the bottom. Uh I believe. Let me check and let me check and make sure that's true. Yeah, see? I thought I might be lying there, because I never I never do it like that. I actually never discovered that for myself. I, uh, I learned that from someone else's stream. After I'd beaten the game. Do the Mario. <laughs> Last segment. <sighs> so close. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Oh, I recovered though. There we go. That was rough. That was rough. Mortal Kombat had a great movie adaptation and a great game series. Not uh, not much into Mortal Kombat. Can't I can't really speak to it. Do you know how to get Mario to do the Mario in Super Mario Bros. 1 by getting a 1-up combo? I don't know, I don't understand. Are those are are the are the gaps are the gaps in those bars supposed to be perfectly lined up vertically like that? That's weird. 
I don't remember seeing it like that before. trick to this part. Uh, I think that's how I do it. Ooh, that felt not exactly right. But, uh... Survived. Huh, at the top of it's something you do at the top of a beanstalk. I didn't know that. No one likes TMNT3. <laughs> I guess I'm no one gaming fit says. <laughs> I don't, um... I don't recall ever being particularly enthusiastic about Turtles 3, but I don't feel like I ever felt that it was significantly worse than the other two. It's definitely the one I watch the least, though, so maybe, maybe subconsciously. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> well, I did that wrong. Uh, at least I knew I was doing it wrong in the moment. My buddy likes CMNT3, I just ignore him, Derek says. Hey cows, I hope uh hope you're feeling better. I did a lot of hibernating and feel much better. That's wonderful to hear, my friend.
All you, uh, all you missed from uh, 50 video games included last night was a super janky worm game. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, I couldn't beat, so we're gonna have to play it again. <laughs> oh, what is going on? The Maya punches were going right through that guy. I mean, there I was missing, but the other ones I think should have connected. That was close enough. Oh. This is horrifying. This is horrifyingly bad. I'm already bad enough at this stage to begin with. Like, this is... The boss of this stage is... Just one of the worst things in the whole game for me. <laughs> Maybe fortunately for me, Cal says. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. It's it's so bad that that worm game. It's super it's super broken. I'm planning on getting a razor sharp samurai sword soon, Game and Fit says. Home defense only. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you will not have cause to use it. I had the weirdest, I had one of the weirdest soft locks ever occur to me in this game, here on this level. The, uh, the camera scrolled up, but my toad didn't, and I ended up in a, ended up in a loop where I kept dying at, off the bottom of the screen for no reason, just because the camera abandoned me. It was wild. Unfortunately, I'm terrible at this boss and like this this boss is the one thing that really holds me up from that really the the reason I've never gone on a on the grind for a deathless run of this game is just because of this boss. This is the uh, I mean, you know, I'm playing horribly tonight, but it's been a while. <laughs> at my peak, this is the only stage I've never completed without losing a life. I've done I've done every other stage in isolation except this one. Which is because I've I've never figured out this boss. And I'm actually not even gonna beat this boss, am I? We're about to restart this whole stage. Alright, maybe not. Oh my goodness. Rip the one credit run. I'm playing Bill and Ted, the NES game, Derek says. Got further, but it's confusing.
What? I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't want to end up on the news. <laughs> Samurai warrior defends home from would-be burglar. <laughs> I mean, I definitely, uh... I'm fairly pro-defensive weapons, um... I would uh, certainly like to never have to actually use them. And I uh, definitely wish the same for others. No, <laughs> wait, Frowny, do you have a Viking axe? How did you know that? <laughs> Uh, I absolutely do. <laughs> That's not a toy axe either. It's a... It's a giant... It's a giant chunk of... It's a giant chunk of iron. on a handle that I'm not really sure how it supports it. <laughs> there isn't really a story to it though. I uh I kind of I kind of inherited it. From uh from Jelly's grandfather. Hopefully to be used in conjunction with a stylish Viking hat. It's not a, it's, it's actually, it's not a, it is like a, I have, I do have a, for real, a, 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 a massive antique axe. It's not what you would think of as like a Viking axe, though. It's not like a double-bladed battle axe. Um, but I mean, it does look like it. It does look like it is crafted for war. <laughs> as massive as it is. It could be used for it. There's this guy waiting in line for Skyrim at GameStop. The dude is holding a Viking axe and waiting for the game to come out. It was just a replica, but the dude looked almost exactly like you, Game Fit says. <laughs> I was going to guess you inherited it from a friend you worked with at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> He sounded exactly like how you play, too. He's like, I'm never making a second character. I'm keeping the same one forever. <laughs> I 
Hey, welcome back, Zergling. Good job getting through Volksmeyer's Inferno after so long. That's the level I, for I forget the most. Yeah, I did alright there. I died a couple times. Um, we've used one continue um, on this stage, but it's not because of this stage. It was it was stage eight with the stormtrooper. Got me, got me like it always gets me. The stage the stage itself gave me a bit of trouble, and then the stormtrooper ruined me. I probably lost eight lives to that guy. So it's not you know. We're doing all right. We're doing all right for having not played in so long, but I can't say I'm doing well. <laughs> uh, I've definitely done much, much better. That something didn't work quite right there. Ah, uh, don't get me. It'll be 91 degrees tomorrow. Intolerable. It's one job I always wanted to do is to be a jouster, Kasari Gama says. Full metal jousting was like the best show on TV. I've never even heard of that show. I guess I can imagine what it was about. No. Oh, we were we were out of here. Come on. I did I I did the gear. I don't deserve to have to repeat the gears. was close I didn't I didn't remember the best way to avoid that shark uh. Get the one up, we'll be all right. Thank you. 
Jelly and I used to go to the, uh, when we lived in Texas, there's a, uh, there's a really big, uh, Renaissance Festival in Texas, and Jelly and I used to go to that. Um, we didn't go every year that we lived down there, but we, uh, for a while, for a while we were going, um, we went several years in a row. I like to go in October and get some extra mileage out of our Halloween costumes. Having, I'm having some trouble escaping the stage. Yeah, yeah, they could be, they're pretty expensive. That's another reason not, that's another reason not to go too often. <laughs> I always love, uh, I love the idea of like a big roasted turkey leg, but I don't actually find them very enjoyable to eat. Um, they look, they look amazing, but they're harder to eat than they appear. So uh, I did, uh, I did to go more for the sausage on a stick kind of thing. Or a, or a pretzel. I love a giant fresh baked pretzel. <laughs> Pretzels are very good cows, sis. That guy is ruining me. Ruining me. I mean, if I keep getting this one up, it doesn't really matter all that much, but I would prefer to get out of this level. <laughs> Yeah, the the turkey meat the turkey meat can end up dry, but also just with the turkey leg, I find it's got like a lot of like like cartilage type parts on it that's not fun to like pick around. At least uh, the few times I've had a turkey leg, they've kind of been like that. Extracting the uh, the edible meat from the. Uh, the sort of tougher inedible parts it's not really that fun Zergly declared war on ducks. It didn't matter. It didn't matter if I left the stage or not, but I was 
I was taking out all the ducks. Uh, I mean, that's not that's not an unreasonable position. This, uh, this shark, that shark just really knows how to push me into the spikes. That, that shark has studied up and is just ready for me. I'm not bold enough. I'm not bold enough to uh, to go for the uh, the hundred percent ducks run. I haven't really figured out. I haven't really figured out a reliable way to to manage them. It's uh, there's too much there's too much luck involved in my approach. Oh, I drove myself into the spikes. It took more it took more attempts, I'd like to admit, but the ducks did finally quack under pressure, as they're going to say. <laughs> well done. Beak them to a pulp. <laughs> oh my. I was I was thinking something similar, guys. <laughs> About ruffled feathers. Oh, I should have uh, paid attention to the, the left here. I don't remember how many times you have to fly around this stuff. Is that it? That's it. Let's go. Hey, we made it out of there. <laughs> Put it on my bill.
I won't be very upset if this stage soft locks. That was a pretty good start. That was a pretty good start for not having seen this stage in a while. I'm all, I'm all right with that. No. I knew I was blundering that. Ah, I didn't remember how that went. Tell I messed that up by getting stuck on that uh, that one beam. This is not good. No, it's really not good. No, I boosted him. What have I done? I was trying to jump. I was trying to jump over that. I feel robbed. The it glued my feet to the floor. What am I supposed to do about that? learned any such skip it's always been a uh, it's always been the hard way for me I actually don't know where any of the warps are I've heard that there are warps in this game I've never found one it doesn't matter because I'd never use one anyway but it's just curious, it's just very curious to me that I've never accidentally stumbled into one. What? I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> uh, there we go. This is bad. Uh, stage again. There's a warp in the snake level. I'll never find it. Hey, Christian Cool. Thank you for the lurk. Greg. 
It is. Welcome to the stream, Gray. Welcome to Battle Tones. Okay. Not how I planned to do that, but it worked. Go, 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 go. Go, Frowny, you can do it. Victory. trophies cows Not bad. Now can I do the Klinger Winger? I don't have a lot of tries. <laughs> I don't have a lot of tries for the Klinger Winger. Even if I do make it through, I don't have a lot of tries for this tower either.
Let's go first try. Oh no, he got away. What happened there? Use your iframes. Well, I'm definitely out of practice with this. This is going terribly. I have two lives. I have two lives to clear the final stage. Not gonna happen. Yeah, I, I would. I would not. I would not be so bold as to say that I have that mastered. I think I just got really lucky at the uh, the driving portion of that stage. But unfortunately, I completely blundered the boss too. But we did well. We did well. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing to, uh, yep, this is bad. This is very bad. Appreciate the trophies, by the way, cows. It's all right. It's all right. You know what? All that means, you know, all that means is that we're going to get to do a second playthrough. I thought one of these guys lived up here. No, don't get me, don't get me, don't get me. That was scary.
I don't know what I was doing wrong. I somehow ended up in a I somehow ended up in an impossible pattern with the uh, with that platform there. The plan is to go directly into a Genesis run, but I have to beat this game first. Hey, Swish, welcome in. Welcome to a run, a Battletoads run that is in peril. We're in, we're in extreme jeopardy. Is that Jump King? Jump King? I can just make this jump? Okay, I can just make that jump. I just wasn't following. <gasps> no. I'm easily confused. Oh, cool. I despawned him. Nice. That's a rare treat. I don't remember what the arrangement of these platforms is. Ah, uh, stay away from me. You bully. I didn't know if she was coming back. <laughs> she was gone so long, I thought maybe she despawned up there. <laughs>
Let's go. Well, that was an ugly run, but hey, we did it. And it was the first, it was the first, well, it wasn't really the first run of the night. I did a lot of stage one resets, but the first time we left stage one, we made it all the way to the end. So, not bad, not bad for not having played it in forever. Hey, Blackthorn, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. A little birdie told me that you uh, purchased uh, Jump King. <laughs> Blackthorn. I don't know if you've started it up yet, but I hope that it's, uh, I hope that it's treating you better. I hope it treats you better than it treated me. Thank you for the trophies, cows. Uh, great job. Thank you, Zergling. Now to see if you can stand the, the Genesis Toads better than me. Yeah, that's what we're going to do next, my friends. We got this one down, so we're going to try Genesis Battle Toads. I have never played it before. It'll be a it'll be a completely fresh experience, and I think we'll just jump right into it. You'll just have to excuse me a moment to uh, change the console out. I'll be right back with you. Um, I did your stream title the other day. Oh, oh, it worked. <laughs> My it's on sales stream stream title. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you have. I hope you have fun with it. All right. Let me let me grab that. Uh, let me grab that Genesis Battletoads. <laughs> 